The LED screens show a blown up photo of a flyer used in my campaign in GE 2020 that was defaced. I think honorable members looking at this slide will straight away appreciate the racial undertones quite quickly. The graffiti was an attempt to make me even more Indian, as if my name and skin color were too understated. I got this photo from a resident who was upset about the matter. She pointed out to me that there was a Chinese character written over my chest, which was partially, partially hidden through coloring over the character. The character is Dai. When I had occasion to review the photo while drafting the speech, I realized the same character were written on both hands too. How Indian must I be to be oblivious to a Chinese call for my death? And yet, perhaps fortunately, how Singaporean can I be to get the job done and meet my KPIs? When I saw the attempts to politicize elections on racial lines, I made a decision not to be distracted. I focused on what I believe were the priorities of my constituents. Honourable members would recall that at the opening of this session of Parliament following GE 2020, I said that all of us in politics must grow the skin of a rhino and the heart of a lion. You now know what precipitated my remarks. When I stood for elections in Aljunit GRC in 2015, I certainly did not see similar attempts at racial politicization. I personally think that the reason for this is attributable to the fact that I stood as part of a team in a GRC. It would be difficult for any person to exploit matters along racial lines during elections when the political parties in the contest fielded minority candidates in their respective teams. In a GRC fight, we are in it together. The GRC is a compound, not a mixture that can be pried away one element from another. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, on the basis of my experience having fought in three elections at a GRC and SMC, I respectfully suggest that the GRC system continues to be important to ensure that we will be able to get appropriate representation in this House from minority races. The fact that I won two elections in an SMC does not provide grounds to do away with the GRC system. I pointed out that I was not a newbie. However, even then, I faced coordinated attempts to politicize campaign along racial lines, which were rebuffed by Bukit Batok voters. Thankfully, I had thick skin, and I was able to focus on my campaign. About a week ago, I shared with my elder daughter, a teenager, that I will be speaking on race issues in connection with this motion. In response, she told me that during the 2020 hustings, she would have been in primary school then. She came across an outright racist remark about me on Twitter. She was upset about the matter. She, however, decided not to tell me about it because she felt that I was already going through a tough election. She was protecting me at a time when actually it's the father's duty to protect the child. I looked at her carefully when she told me this. She had a habit of biting her lips when she was upset. Thankfully, she did not. She's now at peace, although she had to grow up much faster as a result. I asked honorable members from the majority race in this house, imagine you're from a minority race. Would you want to put your own son or daughter through an election in a situation where there is a good probability that your child may be excoriated simply on account of his or her race. If the GRC system is abolished, we will have to contend with the scenario that good people from minority races, knowing there is a danger of elections being politicized along racial lines, may just decide that this is too much trouble and not run for elections. They will not be prepared to be made fun of along racial lines. Is that what we want? Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, I have said that Singaporean approach to difficult issues is to deal with the facts as they are and not as we wish them to be. We have made progress from the days of race riots, but we need to be honest and realistic about race relations always. I can speak simple Mandarin, I can have political experience, I can rise about above racial needling, but after all this, Let's be honest, I'm still too Indian for some voters. There may be a time when race may not matter, but that is not now. Until that day, we will still need the GRC. Because in a GRC, we, you are not going to go up against any particular race, but a coalition of us bound together 
by the collective interests of the GRC and of Singapore. Each of us is a constitutive of this group, this compound that forms a protective coating against racial attacks from wherever they come and against any of us from any race. Only then we can hope to succeed regardless of race, language or religion. Thank you.